last part of the show. Last part of the show is a head to head for the bell. Featuring Karen Barrera Hines <laughs> and Sam Taylor, our reigning defending champion. <laughs> the way it works is Sam's on this mic, Karen's on this mic, and they go one after the other. Each round is scored by our judges. You do not get the points, you just write who you want to win. And I go, and you tell me at any point, because I'm blind. Um, in my defence, I read a lot of books as a child, which is why I have poor social skills, but a great vocabulary. Right, if you could join me on stage. Things they 
feed themselves on you till only bones remain and they boil you into soup. They pour you down the drain to love the sewage too, and you do. You do till you love the things they do, the strings they pull, and how they pull on you and pierce you through and through and through. Every pattern begins with a single stitch, and this poem, it has no end because they haven't left. Of their carved on my skeleton and soul once someone makes you theirs you're never again alone no. and there's there's no silver lining to this thread that ties your bones Pushing down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
so much Bowie today. It's been on the workshop. Oh. Basically. So you have a harder decision now. Yeah. Come on! I've still got all my limbs, 
and abuse them to hold the people whose hold still holds me still, whose souls do tend that I'm stood amongst friends, doing poetry, often saying, woe is me, but they spend their time trying knowing me, and at the end, they applaud, even if it's shit, <laughs> even if their day's been shit, even with the whole world going to shit, I suppose the fascists haven't kicked the doors down quite yet. And though the sky's on fire, I bet that final sunset will be the best yet. I suppose all the pain in me was once love. No, I know it was. And it will be love again, at least once more before the end. I suppose I've survived. I've lived a longer life than most human beings in all our history. I've read of our Empress Dowager Cixi. I've seen C6 Steve live. And I've eaten chips so many fucking times. And I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. And the fucking sun still shines. Sometimes. moving in on the house and pounding on the door, shouting for more, but I don't have it. Nothing left to give them, but they keep persisting, and I'm dry, and I'm tired, and I'm hungry, and I'm pissed, and I miss my family. I work 60 hours a week in the dead of night just trying to get by, to put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads, but there's a notice pegged to the front door, demanding that we leave or pay more, the bastard landlords of the rent again. I don't have shit to pay them. See, they don't want us to stay. The neighbourhood is up and coming, so they want us out and going. Then they'll renovate the buildings and conflate the prices to attract the nicer type. We'll pay twice as much on time and won't blink. But what about my kids? This is the only home they've ever known. Am I just meant to take this on the cheek and let my kids sleep out on the streets, hungry and downbeaten? And then, then. Worst of all, they have the audacity to lay the blame on me that poverty is a self-inflicted disease and not a product of conservative appeasement. There's no mercy or compassion or feeling. Instead, we're vilified and riddled with their shame. I would get angry. If I wasn't so tired, but that's also part of their game. So here I am, trapped in this. Capitalist captivity with no hope of escape, no chance of finding a better space. The point is to keep us in our place. 
because I don't know where our next meal is coming from. Or if I'm going to make the rent. Instead, my body's spent working late nights for what might as well be change and change is the last thing on my mind. Thank you very much. on this Jubilee weekend, I'd like to dedicate this last poem to the royal family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You see where I'm going with it. <laughs> I love the Queen! No. <laughs> Sometimes I imagine I have a son, and I role-play the questions he might ask me, you know, about the world and himself and the ashes of our family. And the only question I think I've struggled to answer is, Dad, where is Ireland? It's over there, to the west somewhere. See, son, to me, Ireland was in my grandmother's rosary, in the smell of sourdough and tea, the picture Sheila left to me, but it was also in my father. So drunk on opium and stout that he would plead, son, I'm too tired to play. And my boy, I pray, I never treat you that way, but that's what we're meant to be, they say. Where is Ireland? It's in prison. Ireland surrendered down a barrel of booze, the first face picked in a game of who's who's, played by the original red, white and blue, and there was nothing they couldn't finish. Did you know Arthur Guinness was a spy for the English? Where is Ireland? It's in a ditch. The same ditch my great-grandfather lay for two days, bleeding his life for the IRA. It's in the way that he'd say with undying hatred, that's not the Union Jack. That's the butcher's apron. It's in the towns that we fled from and the ones where we're still there. It's in the fact that the British Empire started somewhere. And it's in you, like it's in me. Though I don't speak the language, and I don't have the accent, and no one from England has ever pronounced my name right, it's Kiran. And my grandmother used to call me Kiran with my palm in her palm, all the qualms I would hand her, how we'd walk by the sea and she'd say, Gee, quick, mate, lander! It's in the signs she'd describe. No dogs, no blacks, no Irish. It's in the day that she died, when my father stole from her deathbed's bedside. She was still warm, and I was still child. So where is Ireland? I don't know. I think my father stole that from me too. But I have a feeling that you do. I want to give that feeling to you and she gave it to me. And when you find it, son, because you will find it. I know you will. Can you look for her there? Because no one bothered to tell me where they scattered their ashes. But I hope it was in Ireland.